We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear? Almighty Maker to your name. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, November 12th. It's the 25th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verse 40 to 55. And Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 to 28. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia, Psalm 78. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. They turned back and tempted you and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember your strength nor the day when you delivered them from the enemy. How you had wrought signs in Egypt and wonders in the field of Zoan. You turned their rivers into blood that they could not drink. You sent all sorts of flies among them which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. You also gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locust. You destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamores with frost. You gave up their cattle to the hail and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. You cast, you cast on them the fierceness of your anger and wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending a troop of evil angels among them. You gave free course to your anger and did not spare their lives from death, but gave them over to the pestilence. You struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, the finest flower in the tabernacles of Ham, but made your own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And you led them in safety so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And you brought them to the border of your holy land, even to this mountain, which your right hand had purchased. You cast out the heathen before them and divided the land for their inheritance and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. How often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15, beginning at verse 21. <clears throat> Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And then, just then, a Canaanite woman from the region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all, and his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as wish, as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. 
Let your ministers be clothed in righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Guide us to your eternal dominion, O shepherd of Israel. For only in you can we live in safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.